<clears throat> you, so one way to uh, prevent sand production is through uh, controlling the drawdown. Uh, another way you might uh, be able to prevent sand production is through um, oriented perforation. So this would be in a setting of a cased and cemented well where you have to per perforate the well uh, in order to produce it, right? And so in this case, you could imagine pretty intuitively um, that, you know, if you, if you have a well bore and your direction SH min is here, oh, sorry, SH min, then, you know, this is the area where you're going to get break breakouts to occur. So the, the, the rock is already near its failure point at that point. If you were to perforate it in that region, you're just going to weaken the rock even further and therefore enhance the sand production. So if you have an idea about, uh, you know, the reservoir conditions, then you might orient your perforations in a way so as to minimize the sand production. And so this is a, uh, these are results from numerical simulation. Um, in this case, uh, th these are the function of, uh, so this is plastic strain. This is that, that measure that I talked about. And, and this, this horizontal line here represents 5% plastic strain. Or it looks like 4%. It looks like 4%. So this horizontal line represents 4% plastic strain. So the reason it's there is sort of that's the, that's the acceptable limit at which, you know, anything above that, you'll be expected to produce sand. And so then as a function of well deviation, then there's two um, potential perforations, horizontal or vertical. So you can see that in all cases, if you perforate vertically, no matter the deviation, then you'll be below that critical value um, that you'd expect to produce sand. However, at highly deviated wells and horizontal perforations, then you're going to be in high regions of plastic strain. You'll be able to, um, ex you're be expected to uh, produce a lot of sand. So again, the only way you can really do these is, is uh, with numerical simulation, and it's even more complex here because now you're taking into consideration the fact that there's a perforation there you know, even further weakening the rock. And so this is, um, this is actually uh, the case where you're looking at for a, f for a um, so for a fixed, for a fixed, you know, devi for a fixed deviation in the well, then looking at a range of perforation degrees and different drawdowns. So uh, here's your, this line again represents your kind of 4% equivalent plastic strain or plastic strain. Uh, so anything above that would be expected to produce sand. And you can see it's, it's you know, a fairly complex problem because it's dependent upon, uh, you know, the amount of depletion and uh, drawdown and other factors. Uh, but these are the kind of results we can get if, with, you know, if we have a fully coupled numerical model. So, um, 